right, what's popping, everybody? It's your boy Armani. We're back with another video. Get in here, get in here, everybody. Get in here. All right, so I'm minding my business and I'm scrolling through Instagram and I see that uh, on Hollywood Unlocked, shout out to Hollywood Unlocked, um, Jamel Hill, they had posted that Jamel Hill. Now, I didn't know who she was. Now, apparently, Jamel Hill is a writer for Atlantic and she is a podcaster, right? So I didn't know who she was, but she had responded. Uh, to Lil Boosie's interview on The Breakfast Club. And I thought it was an interesting response, um, seeing that I had been saying this on my platform. Um, but she just articulated it so well. So I thought I'd come here and talk about it again. So I'm going to read to you what she said, and then we're going to talk about it. She says, some of y'all folks need to be honest and admit that you have a problem with gay people and you're homophobic. But... If but comes after your after your uh, obligatory, I don't have a problem with gay people sentence, then you actually do have a problem with gay people. Gay people breathe. Some of y'all, why are gay people throwing their sexuality in my face by breathing? What about the kids? Y'all don't care about them hypothetical kids. Y'all just using them as props to hide your homophobic nonsense. Saying you're insinuating gay people don't have the right to do the same ish that heterosexual people have uh, can do, which means kissing in public, embracing their lovers, speaking about their sex and love lives openly is homophobic. It's not an opinion. It's intellectually lazy. You are telling another person that they don't have the right to exist in the same way you do. Because as much as some of y'all push this dumb narrative about gay people forcing their lives on us or having an agenda, the only time this stuff ever comes up is when a heterosexual gets in their feelings and brings it to the table. Lil Nas X was minding his business, moisturizing, minding his black moisturized business when folks start coming for him. And I don't even know how suddenly award shows are supposed to be Sesame Street. Like, just stop it. So I'm reading that to say that is exactly what I've been saying. A lot of times um, people take when I, you know, my message and when I'm all turned up and I'm hyped up, they take it as I'm offended that people don't accept me or that heterosexuals choose not to accept um, gay people. To me, that doesn't make you homophobic. If you decide, I don't, I don't really agree with, your life. I don't really agree with, you know, two men being together. I don't really think that that's homophobic. It becomes homophobic in the why. Why don't you agree? Now, if it's one thing that you feel like it's a natural, it's a religious belief, or you just feel like a man and it's, uh, you know, relationships are supposed to be for a man and a woman. I can't argue with, with that. I can't call you homophobic for that. Now, if you if the why is just because you cannot imagine two men kissing each other, or you just don't want to see another man kissing a man, to me, that's homophobic. Because you're making it seem like me, you know, a gay person showing affection to another person is just disgusting and nasty. So if gay people are disgusting and nasty to you, to me, that's when it becomes homophobic. Um, but again, I don't ever expect everybody to 100% agree with the way I live my life. And I'm not here for it. I'm not here for you too. And I don't expect you to, uh, I don't, and don't expect me to agree with how you live your life all the time. Um, but I think the biggest issue and the thing that I want to get the most clear is gay people exist. And gay people want to exist in the same way that straight people exist. And I think the issue is a lot of straight people feel as though that gay people should exist should and can exist as long as it's around the corner not on main street where the rest of the world is happening and i don't think that that's fair i feel like we're at a point now where gay people want to exist on main street just like straight people want to be on main street we're tired of having to exist around the corner on an off street on the back street on a dead end street we want to be on the main street where, where it's all lit up and it's open to the public and everybody can get there from anywhere in the city. Why is it that straight people are the only people that can live in on main street? 
And I think that's the problem because when people start saying, oh, you know, they're pushing this in our face, they're doing this, they're doing that. No, it's not that. What the, the problem is this, gay people are now moving in and opening businesses on Main Street. And straight people are feeling some type of way because they feel like Main Street is only allotted to straight people. You keep the weird stuff, you keep the you keep the fruitcake stuff, you think you keep the homosexuals around the corner. Out of sight, out of mind. I don't want to see them. They can come on Main Street and shop with us. We can employ them. You know, they can they can walk over here, but they can't exist here. They have limits. And I, I think that we're at a point now as gay people, um, the limits we're changing that. Like we don't want to have limits in our existence. If you can uh, be affectionate with your lover in person, uh, you know, in public, so should I, I should have that right too. But a lot of straight people, they feel as though gay people should not have the same rights as them. It's not all about, Oh, an agenda. That's an excuse. What about the kids? That's an excuse to cover up for. You just don't like gay people. Just say it. Just say you have a problem with homosexuality, lesbian, trans. You just don't like same sex situations. It makes you feel uncomfortable. I would much rather a person say that than try to justify it with, oh, what about the children? Or try to gaslight a community of people by saying you can't have an opinion against gay people. No, your opinion is what? What is your opinion? That gay is wrong. Okay, that's your opinion. But if your opinion is, I shouldn't be allowed to exist in the same way as you do, that's not, a, that's not an opinion. That's ignorance. That's just like white people saying that black people, which they did at one point, said that blacks should not and could not exist in the same way as white people do because they weren't worth it. And that's kind of how this, that's the same thing that heterosexual community does to gay people when they start spewing this kind of anti-gay agenda rhetoric, because it's coming from a place of, I don't want you to be able to exist the way I do. And when you are, when you're able to do that, or now that it's, now that those kind of barriers are being broken down, all of a sudden there's an agenda being pushed. There's not an agenda being pushed anywhere. This is inclusion. It's the 21st century. People are being included. It's not all, it's not a one, it's not a one world type of thing. Black people are being inclu included. Women, gays, all different types of minorities are being included in life. No person or persons are, are better than the other. You know, so I, I think that it's kind of unfair when people try to say, Oh, you're just mad because people don't accept you. It's not about you accepting me. You don't have to accept anything about me. You don't have to accept my life. You don't have to believe or support it. But at the same time, don't try to ostracize me and say that I cannot be in certain spaces. And that's where it becomes a problem for me because it seems as though people do not want gays to occupy certain spaces. And those spaces pretty much are every major platform, every major space where straight people have been known to occupy for many, 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 many years. They just don't want to share the space because they're uncomfortable with it. And, 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 and I think that that's the bigger conversation. Pete, it's not about the children. It's not about an agenda. It's about the fact that a lot of straight people feel as though gay people shouldn't have the same rights as them. It is what it is. And when there's pushback and then when there's support from different LGBT activists and groups and things start to shift and people get canceled and things happen, then all of a sudden the gays look like a bully. When in all actuality, a lot of straight people look like slave masters because they feel like you can exist as long as you go over here and don't cross this line. That's modern day slavery. And, and what kills me is black people, we know what that's like. So why would we want to treat another ostracized group or another minority group that way? And on top of that, why would we want to treat another black LGBT member like that? So that's a little food for thought. I think that 
people should just be honest with themselves. If Bootsy would just come out and say, hey, I just don't really like gay people. I'm not really, I'm a little homophobic. I'm not interested. It makes me uncomfortable. I will respect that so much more. I will respect that. But it's when you try to make excuses for it is when it becomes like, dude, that's not real. Because there's no, there's no excuse for you to say, for you to justify why it's okay for a woman to do certain things, strippers to do certain things, but a gay man, you will, you would attack him. It, it, you just don't like gay people and you don't like gay men. It makes you uncomfortable. Just say it. And a lot of women should just say it. They feel some type of way about gay men. They feel like the man can't protect them. They feel like there's competition. They feel like they're messy. Whatever you feel, just say, I don't like them because I feel like they just make me uncomfortable. And I will respect that. But I don't understand when people try to say, oh, we don't have to like you. We don't have to. You don't. But you will respect me. And also, we're going to continue the fight to move from the off street to the main street. You don't have to purchase. You don't like, I don't understand why that's so hard for people to understand. understand. A straight person can exist on the block and a gay person can exist on the block. You don't have to go into the gay store. You don't have to, you don't have to patron my, 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 my shop, but I can set up shop on the same street. Just like you, this is where all the traffic is. This is where everything is geared towards. Why would I always want to be around the corner where people got to come look and, and seek me out and, and find me to support me, to uplift me? No, I want to be seen just like the rest of you. But see, when I'm able to be seen like the rest of you, when Little Nas X is being able to be seen like the rest of you on major platforms, on television, in spaces outside of around the corner, you know what, you know what those spaces around the corner are, right? The behind the scenes doing hair, makeup, around the corner. Are you following me? The assistant, the choreographer, the help. No, he's in front of the camera. He's on Main, Main Street, the lead talent, top of the charts, competing with straight people and winning, dominating men and women. All of a sudden now it's an agenda. No, it's not agenda. It's life. And so I just wanted to say that, like, I think that people should just be honest with themselves and say, hey, I don't like gay people. And, and I think the world would be much clearer in a better place if you could just you don't have to accept it, but you should be honest with yourself and honest with everybody else and just say you just have a problem. That's all. All right. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, I'll see you soon. Peace out.